Yo, what up? It's your boy Shady C here. So, I've said multiple times in multiple videos that we do have a far left problem in America. <clears throat> and uh, it doesn't seem to take root. So, I wanted to kind of explain it here in the latest situation in my video talking about Brian Zane. So, I made comments on some of his videos. And if you look up, or down, sorry, made a video about Brian Zane. All his little libtard friends commented on my Twitter. And they do the very thing they say they're against. You always hear them talk about fat shaming. You shouldn't judge someone on their appearance. Now, none of them <laughs> had the common sense to attack my argument and what I was saying. So they had to make personal attacks against me. Which doesn't bug me. I've got very thick skin, as you can tell. But it makes them look like such hypocrites. In any instance where there's someone they agree with, if, you, if they're a fat chick, or if they're trans, you often hear them saying, oh, you shouldn't shame this person. You shouldn't slut shame this person. You shouldn't fat shame this person. You shouldn't always or only when they agree with you. See, that's hypocritical. And people look at that stuff. People notice hypocrisy. Most people hate hypocrisy. I hate hypocrisy. That's one thing I have lived my life on, is I'm going to keep my words, thoughts, views, and opinions all consistent. And what makes it even funnier is the fact that I agree with these people on most political issues. I'm on the left. I support gay marriage, trans rights. I support Medicare for all. I support every issue down the line that they could go, you know what, I feel this way. Me too. What makes it bad is the politically correct, social justice warrior, easily offended identity politics crap. That's where you people lose everyone. Most Americans don't buy into that crap. They don't buy into the victimhood mentality that you, the narrative you people like to push. <clears throat> yeah, hell, you can look through all my videos. Any video I've ever made on race always come out on the side of my, the minority community, the black community, the gay community. Always come out on their side. Always say they have a right to feel the way they feel. The only group of people I've ever come out against is straight white women. And they, when they play the victim, that's just too far. No, you guys are not the victim. You were in on the ruling class. You don't get to do that. But anyways... See, that's the, what the, the, the they, they will always lose. Unfortunately, and I'm not a Trump supporter, unfortunately, Trump is going to get reelected because of how the extreme left pushes everyone away. There's times where I've even thought of voting for Trump, and I don't support the man simply because of how the far left leaves that bad taste in your mouth. These people are so, they're, they're just brain dead. They're out to lunch mentally. They don't have a brain cell. They don't have two brain cells to rub together. <clears throat> Just think about it. So I made a video, for those who didn't watch the other one, about Brian Zane. I basically said to, I basically said, hey, you know what? If you're gay, that's great. That's not a bad thing. That's wonderful, in fact. I support you. But stop putting down straight white guys for having a working fucking penis. Now, you would think they could come at me in any sort of an argument I could make. They didn't. It was all about my appearance. That's how, when you, when, what does it say? Insults become, oh God, what is the philosophy? Insults become used by the loser once they've lost. Something, something to that effect. I don't remember, fuck. But it's the truth. They literally know I don't have an argument. Like, ooh, he does kind of come off strongly against straight men. He does. So he seems like he might be gay. Now, I'm not insulting him for being gay. I'm not saying it's a bad thing that I think he's gay. Or that it's, you know, it's wrong or horrible or anything like that. I have not said one thing like that. I simply said, if you're gay, that's fine. Let's stop attacking straight men for having a working penis and liking women. So they couldn't come at me from an argument standpoint. So one person attacked the way my hair looks. Oh, well, don't worry, you don't need to shower before your video. 
I always shower. I've got thinning hair. What the fuck do you want? Someone else commented on um, another one about my appearance. When they have no leg to stand on, they have to come after you like for things like that. But then go look in any other video where some fat libtard chick is getting insulted for her looks. Don't fat shame her. Look at a video where some skank is like getting called a whore. Don't slut shame her. They don't get it. They just don't see it. It doesn't penetrate. Their skulls are so thick that they cannot they can't understand that people it looks bad when they have to act like a hypocrite be consistent hell I would love to see one of them come at me and go you know what I'm not going to insult the way he looks because that's wrong no matter what but I will come at him and say blah 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 about his argument they can't do it that's what's so amusing about it is they cannot do it because I didn't insult Brian Zane for being gay or saying he was horrible or it's wrong or rotten or evil I just simply said, I, I, I can tell he's gay. So I would prefer him not attack straight men for liking women. Anytime there's a storyline where a woman is wearing something scantily clad. Oh, good God, it's horrible. But yes, we like seeing men play with other men's penises in the ring. See, that's the thing. That stuff doesn't bother me. Is it stupid? Yes. It is, the dick spot is dumb. There's no penis powerful enough to slam somebody, so it looks stupid. Does it bother me on a moral level? Absolutely not. See, I am consistent. Because I think there should be scantily clad women in wrestling and bra and panties matches, the dick spot doesn't bother me. Because I like looking at lesbians kissing, and I do, it's hot. Seeing two guys kissing doesn't bother me. <clears throat> It's called being consistent. And yes, for some of you libtard ladies out there, I am a mansplaining to you. Because ladies, sometimes you need a man to explain. Anyways, I'm going to cut this video here. If you agree with me, like, subscribe, and share. If you don't, you don't got to do none of that shit. Push comments down below. Tell me what an idiot I am. Insult my appearance. Don't insult my argument as you always do. And you know, this is Shady C. And I'm always right.